And tonight, some unique instruments were on display at Anastasia and Friends Gallery on Main Street. Artists were given a choice of violin or guitar by the South Carolina Philharmonic to transform into an original work of art. Now they're going to be auctioned off as part of an event to raise money for the organization. And it's just a great collaboration between the visual and the performing arts. It's, it's such community too because it's artists helping another arts organization, which I love. And I love that about the Columbia Arts community as well. Um, they're always there to help out. Well, tonight was just the kickoff. The closing reception will be held in April, April 9th, that is, at Gervais and Vine in the Vista. Alrighty, Star Wars fans, listen up. There's big news that will have you pretty excited. Star Wars creator George Lucas says the film's original megastars, Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, and Carrie Fisher, have all signed on the dotted line to return for Star Wars Episode 7. Here are the stars from the original movie in 1977 and how they look today. No word tonight on a plot line for the movie, but we're pretty sure it's not going to be set in a retirement home. Oh, that out there tonight. Harrison Ford is not aged no, at all. He looks fantastic. Sure, Mark Hamill, Carrie Fisher. Harrison Ford looks fantastic. What about Chewbacca? <laughs> No? He has aged wonderfully. <laughs> he has aged wonderfully. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure he has. I'm sure he has. He looks great. All right. For a Wookiee? Is that Something, what he is? Yeah, so. Wookie? Yeah. yeah. Still ahead. They have great <laughs> skin, those Wookiees. That's true. Great yeah, skin. A yeah. spring like day across the Midlands with temperatures dipping down drastically tonight. Warmer weather, though, on the way. South Carolina's weatherman Jim Gandy with your forecast next. And an Oscar winning actor believes in UFOs and he's crowing about something he says he caught on tape. We'll tell you more about this strange video in just a moment.